Welcome to the Epidemiology Lecture Series. This is the third mini lecture of Screening Lecture Series. Today, we are going to talk about the different methods available to assess the validity of a screening test. There are several methods that we can apply to assess the validity of a screening test. Here, we are going to talk about four main methods. Those are sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value and negative predictive value. These are the four main methods to assess the validity of a screening test. Before talking about these four, it is important to note about two terms, gold standard test and screening test. Gold standard test is a perfect test to diagnose a disease. Generally, it is a 100% correct test. But practically, there are no 100% correct tests. So, we refer gold standard test to a test which provides best results in comparison to other screening methods available. As we discussed in the previous lectures, screening test is a feasible, easy and practical and cost effective test that we can apply to diagnose the disease. The screening test can be a case definition collection of symptoms and signs or a simple test which is inferior to the gold standard test. When we are assessing the validity, we compare this screening test against the gold standard test. In 2.2 table, here we have gold standard test, this GS is the gold standard test. In this side, in rows, we have screening test. Here we have screening test positive, here we have screening test negative, here we have gold standard test positive, gold standard test negative. So we have A, B, C and D. So what is A? A is the number of patients who are positive for gold standard test as well as screening test. If the disease is COVID-19. Assume that we have RT-PCR as the gold standard method and the case definition as the screening test. So A refers to the patients who are positive in RT-PCR and who are positive in relation to case definition. We can call A as true positives. We call it true positives because screening test positive and they actually have the disease. So what is B? B are the patients who are positive for screening test but the gold standard test is negative. They are positive for screening test but it's not correct because they don't have the disease. So we call that false positives. So what is C? C, they are negative for screening test, but they actually have the disease because gold standard test is positive. So we can call this as screening test negatives. So they are negatives, but it's false. So they are false negatives. And what is D? D are the patients who are negative for screening test and they are negative for the gold standard test as well. So they are truly negative patients, so we call them true negative patients. True positives, false positives, false negatives and true negatives. If you can understand A, B, C and D really well, it is easier to understand sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value and negative predictive value. Here we have A plus C. A plus C is the total of this column and A plus C gives the actual number of patients in this sample. B plus D. B plus D gives actual number of negative patients. They don't have the disease. This side you have A plus B. Here you have C plus D. A plus B 
is the total number of people who are positive for screening test. All of them are not the patients, but all of them are positive for screening test. And C plus D, C plus D is the total number who are negative for screening test. Who are negative for screening test does not mean that they don't have disease. They are just negative for the screening test. Okay, now we have the two by two table that we discussed right now. The first method of assessing the validity is sensitivity. So what is sensitivity? As a definition, sensitivity is the probability of identifying a patient or probability of getting a positive screening result if the individual has the disease. Simply, it, we can call it as ability of screening test to identify a patient as a patient. So we can write this as A divided by A plus C into 100. A is the number of patients identified by the screening test correctly. A plus C, total number of patients. So this gives among the total patients, how many of them have been identified by the screening test. The next concept is specificity. Specificity as a definition, it is the probability of identifying this is negative as this is negative. Simply, ability of screening test to identify this is negative patient as negative. So we can write this as D divided by B plus D. B plus D is the total number of people who do not have the disease, which is the denominator. And the numerator is total number of negative patients who are correctly identified by the screening test. The next concept is positive predictive value. Up to now, we discussed the terms vertically. Now, we are talking about this concept horizontally. Here we have A plus B, total number of screening test positive patients. So, positive predictive value is a divided by A plus B into 100 or simply if the screening test is positive what is the probability of having the disease previously we discussed if the individual has disease what is the probability of getting a screening positive now we are discussing if the screening test is positive what is the probability of having disease and the negative predictive value D divided by C plus D into 100. If the screening test is negative, what is the probability of not having disease? Now, you need to carefully look into this. If you need to have high sensitivity value, you need to have higher A value compared to C. So, when we have low value of C, we can have a higher proportion of D. The proportion of A and C influences the proportion of C and D. When we have higher level of A, we can have higher value for D. So that means when you have a higher sensitivity value, when A goes up, it affects the negative predictive value. You can have high sensitivity, low C value, high D value, so when sensitivity is high, you can expect higher negative predictive value. Similarly, when you have higher specificity value, you can expect a higher D value compared to B. You can expect higher D value compared to B. So when specificity goes up, you can think as you have lower B value, it affects A. So specificity affects the positive predictive value. You need to note that specificity and positive value, predictive value go together and sensitivity and negative predictive value go together. Okay, let's consider this example. In this sample, 
we have 200 people not 200 patients but 200 people out of them 50 of them have disease 150 of them they do not have the disease because we have gold standard test here total 100 screening test positive patients and 100 screening test negative patients first we can consider the sensitivity we know that it is 40 divided by 10 plus 40 into 100 simply we can interpret that if we are given 100 patients we can identify 80 of them using this particular screening test so the screening test sensitivity is 80 percent in other way if you are given a patient a single patient there's 80% probability of detecting that patient's disease using this particular screening test. The next one is specificity. This equals, so we are using these two cells. So here, 90 divided by 60 plus 90, which equals 60%. If you are given 100 normal people, you can identify 60% of them as disease free using this specific screening test. Positive predictive value. Positive predictive value, as we discussed earlier, it is 40 divided by 40 plus 60 equals 40%. If you consider one person, if his screening test is positive there's 40 percent probability of having the disease the next one is negative predictive value which equals 90 divided by 10 plus 90 90 percent that means the negative predictive value is 90 percent if you are given 100 screening test negative, you can identify 90% of them as disease free or corrective. If you are given one individual whose screening test is negative, there is 90% probability of not having disease. As we discussed previously, we discussed that sensitivity and negative predictive value go together. So here you have high sensitivity value which is 80% and high negative predictive value which is 90%. You have relatively low specificity, 60% because of that relatively low positive predictive value, which is 40%. I hope that you have clear understanding about sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value and negative predictive value. These are the methods of assessing the validity of a screening test. In the next lecture, we are going to discuss about the several applications practical uses of this screening. So until we meet in the next lecture, I stop here and have a good day. Thank you very much.